hello everyone today we are going to make a joystick movement system for 2d games as you can see on the screen so we can move our player we can rotate also our object doesn't go out of our scene so let's get to it this is our starting scene as you can see on environment i have a background it's just an square image and order in layer is minus 20 also i have some planets you can see here also the settings so if i play right now you will see our planets are rotating each planet has its own rotation duration and direction okay it's just something I did you don't have to do it anyway okay and I have a player here so I added a polygon collider also a rigid body 2d one thing you should do is make sure your gravity scale is zero after importing the joystick pack you should see a folder called joystick pack on your assets then go to prefabs and there is already four prefabs we are going to use the variable joystick for that we first need a ui so right click go to ui and take a canvas change ui scale mode to scale with screen size and keep dimension like 1080 and 1920 then drag and drop the variable joystick on canvas make sure your variable joystick takes the whole sp screen space then go to background and anchor it to middle no so the reason i am using variable joystick let me show you So now our joystick is fixed but we can change it joystick script has a variable called joystick type it's not fixed but let's change it to floating you see and now the dynamic the my favorite one so for this tutorial i'm going to use this one now we are going to make a script for getting joystick inputs let's call it movement manager create a script movement manager add movement manager on the scene object now let's open the movement manager so you can modify it we are going to need the reference for our joystick so public variable joystick and also public transform player create a vector to call it joystick inputs and we are going to take inputs from our variable joystick on update method so variable joystick dot detection and we are going to move our player on fixed update and the reason behind it that because our player is using a rigid body so first let's assign the variable joystick and player so, drag and drop variable joystick and player next let's write the code for our player position so we are going to take for target position to player the position plus joystick inputs and we are going to multiply it with time 
dot fix delta time also i'm going to take a movement speed move speed but i didn't declare it yet so public float speed and there's an error that because our pair position in vector 3 so let's consider to vector 2 now we're going to pair transform dot position equal to target position let's see if it works it moves fit like 5 let's play so our player is definitely moving but it's not rotating on the movement direction for our character rotation go update method and far target angle method dot add turn to just just x just dot y into method dot red to degree now far target rotation new vector 3 minus target angle so player dot Euler angles will to target rotation so let's see what happens so yep our joystick is working properly and also player is rotating but one problem that i'm noticing is like our player goes out of our skin boundary you see it's gone <laughs> so let's do one more thing let's fix this one we are going to take our skin resolution and then we are going to clamp our player position let me show you get a start also create another private vector to the skin bounce then bounce equal to camera dot main the skin to wall point to new vector to screen dot width dot height on our fist update so bold x mathf dot clamp target position dot x and we, we are going to clamp it to screen minus screen bounce dot x to screen bounce x same way bound y So our final target position go to new vector 2 bound x bound y so if we play right now our player doesn't go outside of our skin boundary okay one more thing i added trail here you can see the settings also the trail mat is the default mat with alpha to third. Let's enable both of them and play now. Elastic working, but I forget one most important thing is our joystick should be dynamic. This is for today guys, if you have any question or need further assistance, 
please feel free to leave a comment below and thank you guys for watching